exceptions are problems that occur while your program is running. These typically arise from <clears throat> systems or processes or something that is outside of your program's control, like I'm trying to read or write from a file or interact with a network device. <clears throat> they can also occur when you're converting from one type to another. For example, here I'm trying to convert a string into an integer. With this example, it should work. Um, run. Let's see what happens. Hey, it works. So it converts the string 42 into an integer 42. Um, nothing surprising there. But when I change it, now when I try to run it, let's see what happens. Hmm. Get a number format exception. That's because the method parse int doesn't know how to convert that string into an integer. Uh, There's a design choice by Java to throw an exception here rather than try to uh, return a different kind of value. So um, the, there's different kinds of exceptions and they're all real, um, they match the specific cases uh, the specific error cases that come up so for, that's why we have a number format exception it matches the fact that we, oh we can't create an int here. Uh, exceptions typically terminate your program. <clears throat> so we can see here because this exception occurred I never was able to print out bar. In fact nothing was ever assigned to bar because uh, integer or parse int uh, <clears throat> failed before it could complete. So there's a few thing, a uh, few different strategies we can take when we're going to uh, handle exceptions. We can, if we're writing an interactive program, we could ask the user for a different input and hope they give us something we can say make into an int. Uh, that's not an option here. Um, or let's say we're for reading from a file and maybe the file doesn't exist. We could default. So defaulting would be another strategy just to to plug in a reasonable default value. In this case, we're going to opt for a sort of failing gracefully, is what you might call it. Um, that is, you just log an error message, report an error, and then just otherwise quit the program. So I'll do that here. So the first thing about exception handling is it's going to, um, you're going to put your sort of unsafe, if you will, code inside the try block. That's um, lines nine, all the way down to 16. So this is what we're going to attempt to run. If any line in here throws an exception, it's going to be matched versus each of these catch statements. So we'll use um, number format exception. Since that's what parsing throws, if it receives a bad input, it'll throw a number format exception. We, so we write a corresponding catch statement down here. Now. Um, the catch will match against um, any exception that fits that type. So for example, if we caught generic exception, which all exceptions are derived from, <clears throat> that would catch any exception. So um, you want to be as specific here as possible, that's the best practice. Otherwise you can create kind of bizarre uh, errors because you might have a program that doesn't break when you expected the break. or or breaks in ways you don't expect, which can be really especially confusing, uh, confusing and sort of maddening. So all I'm going to do here is just print out a uh, message uh, for the error case. So I'm going to do is not a number. And yes, my keyboard's very mechanical and clacky. Uh, it's very nice. Hopefully it's not too loud for you. All right, so now <clears throat> Let's give it a run. Ah, so now I just get this message, which is the string I fed into it. Oh no, this is not a number. Is not a number. <laughs> Great. So yeah, it works. Um, yeah, again, <clears throat> and this is the chunk of code we're we're basically preparing to catch exceptions from. If we look at um, Line 12, again, parse int never returns anything, so bars never assigned anything, which means also this line, line 15, is not executed either. Instead, 
as soon as line 12 fails, it jumps to line 19 and prints this message instead. Uh, yeah, so, oh, we could also, another common practice is to, um, we can just print out the exception itself. We'll see a similar message appear. Um, oh, I need a new line. This will be a little bit nicer. So it just depends if you want to show the exception string or not. I generally try to leave that off, but, but some people choose to leave it in. Um, so yeah, that's exception handling in a nutshell.